are slated here for the main event. Our first set of queens, you plebeians. Things are looking good for Team Splendid tonight. Matter of fact, we here. We saw the level Splendid. Team Splendid here coming into the ring there. Shades of Gorgeous George here is coming into the ring with these uh, fantastic robes, as it were. Well, I don't know what exactly these guys are about. Well, I do know what they're about. That's, yeah. Team Splendid coming into the ring here. See Fabiolas just giving you a uh, a shot out there, Wesley. Uh, that's quite odd. I've not met that gentleman before, but I will take it as uh, Team Splendid. Bobby C going around. Oh, looks like Fabiolas has some something to say. To get the, the broadcast oh, fabulous. Exactly what he wants to say. Yeah. And the, the microphone is malfunctioning. Is, it, is that what's going on here? And we told everybody when we come here, we are going to take over. We've seen the level of competition that's out here, and we're quite impressed. As a matter of fact, we want some action with these guys right now. And we're going to show you why we are simply splendid and we are better than everybody else. Uh, Bold. What are these guys talking about? Bold statement. Are these guys bloody wankers? Yes, they are. Yeah, I mean, they're... I mean, uh, not, not, you know... Well, it looks like they're NAX's only hope right now. Well, who are they going up against? It's been a sh <laughs> shrouded in mystery for the main event here. What's well, not so mysterious right now. El Imperio has been destructive tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, these are the bloody thugs that have been infiltrating NAX here. Uh, El Imperio, as it were. El Imperio. A bunch of th uh, thugs there. You know, I've interviewed that gentleman, but he's he's bloody crazy. And El Dragon. Beating everyone up there, having a way with everyone here in, in NEX, and they've probably bloody taken over the entire perimeter. There's no security here. Look at, look at Ray Calitri over here, getting some love from some beautiful women here in the audience. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, Anastasia Morningstar, we know how destructive she has been tonight. Absolutely. It seems splendid there. We really have the work cut out for them. Yeah. What's this music? No. Oh, no. We, we know this music. We know the destruction that this music brings with it. Take on that. What's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? Most of the damage. What, what's happening here exactly, Mr. Wonder? Most of the damage is here to help Team Splendid take out El Imperio, apparently. And perhaps they will need the help there because the way they came out with those fancy robes, as it were, to be facing such adversaries as. El Imperio there, I mean, uh, they need all the help they can get there. Mr. Yeah, Wanda. I, I really thought that El Imperio had this in the bag, but now that Malta's here, uh, uh, this is going to be a tall order for them. Absolutely, Malta the Damager, the all natural disaster, seven feet tall, 300, Lord knows how many pounds. Uh, are you sure he's seven feet tall? I mean, maybe 5'9 at most. 5'9, those are the types of numbers. That uh, colossal Mike Wall comes out with, uh, touting 657 pounds, but he looks like he's a. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. 80, as it were. Mike Law is humongous. 
And look at the face paint Malta's wearing. Looks scary as hell. Malta the Damager with some interesting face paint there tonight. I mean, I, 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 now Imperial, they just went from a very, very high advantage. I mean, the, the leveling, leveling, leveling field is now, now, now it's there. The, the field is level now. And uh, El Imperio there has left the ring, as it were. And wouldn't you? Absolutely. Walter the Damage is not someone I would want on my bad side there. As he stares them down, standing up into the corner on the second rope there. Walter the Damage making a statement here for the fans in Clifton, New Jersey. I, I, I don't even think this is a fair match anymore. <laughs> and it looks like as... El Imperio has uh, changed the game plan, as it were, as they are outside the ring, and uh, the referee could start a proper 10 count right now, to be I honest. Think, I think Team Splendid and, uh, and Malta got together. Huh? How do you think that, that partnership started? Very interesting. Uh, tell us that. I mean, you got to give the advantage here to El Imperio. They're coming in as a team established. <laughs> I mean, this is this is a this is a, a very interesting matching with Malta and Team Splendid. We're about about to get this main event popping. Walter the Damager there, standing in the corner of Team Splendid there. Yeah, towering in the corner there, as you would say. And Dragon having some words. And Bobby C uh, stays to start the square off with the first. Uh, Parent there from El Imperio. Well, she trying. Here we go. And the bell this match has officially run. started. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event for the evening. Well, we'll see. Uh, well, tonight, well, right now, we've, we can finally see what Imperio is made of. They've been coming out being, you would call it, disruptive tonight. I think they've been acting very in a, in a very interesting fashion. Hey, they're a bunch of bloody hooligans there. It's the wonder they've come in and bloody uh, changed the entire dynamic of this match there. This entire event there. The entire event from the beginning. I've been worried for my safety because El Imperio has run rampant here. There's no security. There's no police officers. There's no nothing. Well, you should be worried for your safety. You're just the type of person El Imperio will probably beat up. Not a good start for El Dragon. And that, that's what I'm worried for as El Dragon's getting a bloody thrashing now. Bobby C has shed his... Interesting wing. Wiggins came off there. Yeah. Bobby C makes the tug to Fabio yeah. there. Must mean it's time for business. And a chop slot to the chest there as he bloody thrashes El Dragon to the floor. Fabiolas. Big body slam and elbow chop. El Dragon in the center of the ring, looking up at the lights momentarily back on his feet here, and they brought him into the corner. The, the tug is made to Bobby C, and the referee making a good count for the quick and illegal activity tag on here. And some bloody work done. As you can see, Bobby C and Fabulous are used to working together as a team, tagging in and out, and not including Malta. Fabiola is there now, now squaring off one-on-one uh, -on -one in the center of the ring. They're really working on El Dragon's arm. And El Dragon there, quickly turning the tables, having a go on the left arm of Fabiola there, and a big drop to the face. An attempt there yeah. with a pin with the side mount position. Not even a one count, huh? Well, El Dragon is, is proving to be a little bit too much for Fabiolas. Absolutely, it's a flying clothesline. Ah, hey, he fell like a sack of potatoes. Ray Calitre in there. Uh, Mr. Calitre there, taking over. Calitre. What's wrong with your tongue, Wesley? It's quite hard for me to pronounce. Wait a second, look at... Anastasia Morningstar is in the ring. Absolutely. She's been a force to be reckoned with. Everywhere she goes, she's been bloody crushing everyone. In her she's been tonight. a Mack truck tonight with no one able to get in her way. Absolutely. And Fabiola's now on the receiving end of that Mack truck. Getting a bloody crushing in the corner. She's giving him a nice grab. Yeah, not just brute force here. She's cutting off his, his, his oxygen there. 
and distracting the referee. Look at this. Absolutely. It's Alan Perio giving him the business in the corner. As Bobby C can just look on there. Most of the damage at this point not involved in now, the match at all. Now let me ask you a question, Wesley. Have you seen any type of teamwork like that coming out of the corner of Team Splendid in Malta? Uh, momentarily for about four seconds, but after that, absolutely no. I mean, these three are coming in and out. They're well rested. They're moving well. Ah, I spoke too soon. Oh, it looks, the march can change oh wait, what was that a about? Into the corner of her I think most of the damage are lurking outside the ring. Did Malta not see the, the attempt there for a tag? That was... Bobby C. Doing his thing. Showing his strength there. Look at, look at Morningstar ready to come in and rip Bobby C's head off. And the referee there. Falling for the... Misdirection. Yeah, I gotta say, Bobby C's aggression went up a hundredfold after he took that wig off. You know, I really love, you know, Imperio is just showing exactly what kind, what kind of team they are. Anytime Bobby C's coming to, to anywhere near a three count, they're in that ring trying to stop that count. Absolutely, uh, Alan Perio, their bloody conquistadors here tonight, destroying uh, Bobby C. Uh, destroying uh, NAX uh, properness. Yeah, and had a big Ooh. kick to the scrotum area. And, that uh, wasn't a scrotum, that was not a, a low blow, that was right to the back of his leg. What are you talking oh, about, Wesley? Well, you've got to see it on the replay there. You've got, you've got it right in the bollocks there. That's Bobby C. paying for it now. Where do you keep your bollocks, Wesley? But not anywhere in the vicinity of that maniac El Dragon, I can tell you that right now. El Dragon, El Dragon has just fought his way out of almost defeat right there. Give that man some credit. Give him some flowers, Wesley. El Dragon there, and uh, Mr. Ray Felice there, bloody doing a double here on, on uh, Bobby C in the corner. And again, you do not want to get into the corner of El Imperio. Not at all. Bloody thrush you. I gotta say, Galitra's uh, cover there was very, very arrogant. Absolutely, and the other corner. Here we go. Absolutely nothing. Most of the damage has not utilized uh, any any kind of tactics from outside the ring. Ooh. Wow, Anastasia Morningstar is the most destructive member of this team as far as the punishment she puts out anytime she's in that ring. It's been thrashing after thrashing with Ooh. Mrs. Morningstar there, just getting a bloody beat down. And you know, Morningstar is a uh, is the sign of Satan. Re if you're not, not familiar there, the Morningstar is is the satanic star there. So, you know, that's quite an interesting name. I, I mean, are you calling her some kind of devil? Or I mean, some, some sort of Luciferian, as it were. Look at, look at the gear, look at what she's wearing. I think she's representing what she's standing for pretty well. She's standing for destruction right now. Absolutely. Look at that it's suplex. A, he mashed him with a suplex. Bobby, uh, Bobby C uh, just, just thrashed. She is using Bobby C as a toy right now. Galitre also showing some versatility. Look at El Dragon on top of, on top of. And, and, and look at Mrs. Morningstar just bloody thrashing. Yeah. Fabiola's out. Fabiola's trying to stop and El Dragon on top of. And, 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 and uh, just strategically, Ellen Perio is mince work of, of, of their opponents. Right? Yeah. Mr. Wonder. Yeah. I mean, look, at, look at the strategy. Look at the approach they have. They just bloody suck you into the corner and bloody thrash you. And most of the damage has not put his hand on anyone yet here tonight. Yeah, I mean, these relay tags coming from the corner of El Imperio is, El Imperio is extremely impressive. Yeah, good call there, Wesley. What's up with Walter? He's not even here. Not even trying to... You know, I... It's just sitting there, probably watching the match go on, and you got Bobby C getting a bloody thrust out as they pull him back I mean, into those shock waters there. I, I'm surprised Bobby C still has it in to kick out. You might want to bring someone out here to check his pulse. Absolutely, and right now the only hope they have is to get a target, get more to the target, get more to the damage involved in a match so you have a chance here. And Bobby C has been getting bloody thrust, uh, and again. Bobby C, I mean, I'll give him credit for showing some life in that situation, but <laughs> he doesn't have enough in him 
to survive a double clothesline like that. Absolutely, and uh, Miss Morningstar lurking about on the outskirts, ready to just bloody thrush, and here is the tug. Five oh, wait, and is it more? Yes! Move to the damage and turning around there. Oh. I don't know about that, but I'm a little bit more upset that Fabiolos got to put half his body in the ring to make that tag. And Fabiolos there, uh, trying to have a go here with El Dragon, but it not working out. He had an initial burst of energy, mounting an attack, but quickly it's been reversed by El Dragon there. Massive clothesline, and this match has been one-sided all the way. Most of the damage you must get What's involved in this match in order for anything to change here. I think this ref needs to get Bobby C out the ring. He's not the legal man. Look, oh, he, he, he hurt Anastasia. And Bobby C there trying to have a go. Or Mr. Fabulous in the corner. He's got a first attempt. First attempt in a while from the two count and Molten Damage just standing there. What's he doing there? Who's he Malta communicating is. with the crowd here? Well, I mean, that's likely. Malta is the type to love, love to get the audience attention. Oh, absolutely, but Malta is also the type looks... to come into the ring and oh, bloody here we go. people about. Malta is finally in there at a bad time. And Malta, at a bad time for Ellen Pidio. And Malta the Dabacher is finally tugged into the ring. I don't know what he's doing for the majority well, of the match here. This might have been great strategy from, from Team Splendid to wait till they get an advantage to finally let Malta in and, and close this thing out. And Mr. Kaliche in there. See, wait, what's going yeah! on? Whoa! What's going on here, Look ladies? Look at this! Malta the Dabacher, what's going on here? Wait a second! With Ellen Wesley! There, you know, I, Wesley! Is this happening? I mean, what is going on here? Malta the Damager is, is in here. How is it? Rob Chase what is the Slam Burglar doing back out here? Yeah, well, he got a bloody thrashing by Ellen Perio. So what, he's coming out to get him some? And here, here is... is and, 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 oh, no. And Mega Wolf getting a bloody thrashing. Ellen Perio Me now. And, and, uh, and the ref, the ref is calling and, for the, and for the, the bell. Break. The bell's rung here, ladies and gentlemen. Malta, the damager, has has. Uh, oh wait a second, we got we got more action coming out here. Got, oh! And what's going on there? Ellen, Looks like El Imperio is not alone. Oh, Joe Attell is back in the ring. Joe Attell here. Malta is meeting him. We have saying hello. Complete bedlam here. Malta the damager with Joe Attell and bloody thrust is that, down on the ring there. Nikolai White is me back out here? And what? Got, everyone's out here trying. And this is this is everyone's out here trying to get the El Imperio out of the ring. Uh, Joe Attell thrashed about outside the ring, the caveman getting a bloody this beating is, outside the ring. This is what I like to see! And all the people Here we go. that are aligned with El Imperio are getting bloody thrashed. They've all aligned it. El Imperio has taken over NAX here. This is a bloody disgrace, ladies and gentlemen. El Imperio is showing some dominance. And El Imperio has taken over here. This is bloody unbelievable. Malta the Damager has led, led the charge here. I, I cannot believe what's going on is more to the damager now. And uh, 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 the about to bloody and but it's just bloody uh, unbelievable. Bobby C on the receiving end there. The NAX structure is changing right before our eyes. And, and El Imperio making a strong case here for destroying just absolutely bloody destroying everything that's going on in NAX, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the officials trying to get some people out here to stop this. Absolutely. It is not working. No one's going to come out here to face El Imperio. Absolutely, and you see everyone is out here, ladies and gentlemen. Colossal Mike Law. This is a bloody hockey game. You have people getting beat about all sides of the ring. I don't know where security is, so I'm quite nervous. And what's going on there? And Walter the Damager. Walter having some things to say. And Walter bloody scaring me here. I, they, I gotta say. Absolutely out of his mind there. I am loving, I am loving this attitude I, I, by Malta the Damager. And Malta the Damager. And they're bloody it's having to go outside the ring throwing chairs and tables here. Unbelievable. What is this? This is absolute bedlam, ladies and gentlemen. The, this the is ring complete keeper, destruction. Ringing the bell, as it were. I don't What's think. What's going on? Malta the Damager having to go with the... With uh, someone outside the ring, the cave van, you have bloody maniacs hanging off the rafters as it were here. They're going to have to call on the fire department and to stop what, this whole situation What's this now? guy doing here? This guy's standing about like he's going to do something crazy. And what's is, what is this man? Uh, this man 
I'm not this sure guy what this is doing here. Aligning himself before with El Imperio. And this guy taking down and just yeah. jumped off the top. And that was bloody mental. Ladies and gentlemen, we need police here. Someone call They're going to have to call an ambulance. Does Clifton even have, have an ambulance service? And someone needs to call 911. We've lost control of the situation. This is absolute bedlam here. Well, I think El Imperio has a lot of control of the situation. Unfortunately, you are correct, sir. Uh, El Imperio has control of the situation. <laughs> No contest, and I, I know, fear my safety leaving the facility. They're here still fighting. The They're still fighting. I don't know if this is going to stop. Oops, so I mean, it is absolute bedlam as uh, Team Splendid having a go with the caveman mall to the damage with a big kick to the face there. And this is completely not ended. The ring announcer Nimrod already made the call that this match is done, but and, and no one cares. Show it tells having a bloody hot dog there. What a psycho. Look at this. And this is absolute bedlam, and Joe tells they're having a hot dog. I, I don't blame him, ladies and gentlemen. We've lost I mean, control here. If, 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 if I'm seeing this correctly, if Imperio has Malta the Damager part of their organization, then NAX is about to go through a humongous change. Absolutely. The implications are massive, and Malta the Damager now, I, I'm beside myself with his... Uh, choices here. Oh, that's your friend, isn't it, Wesley? Uh, Malta the Damager has decided to join the dark side. It is just... You ought to know your friends better. Yeah. Absolutely, and Joe Attell still having a go after eating that hot dog. Ah, what? Whoa, oh, Malta using a chair, even though he's, uh, he's seven feet tall. I'll, I'll admit now. now, Malta is actually seven feet tall. Absolutely, and Malta the Damager just... just Marching people with chairs. This is bluffing. I think. I think that. I, I. I think the the, the bellkeeper has ran for cover. Is anybody here to stop us? Is, is, does this Clifton have a police? Is, 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 this is bloody mental. Uh, there's no no uh, end in sight to this set. And more to the damage on an absolute on a rampage. What is going on with more to the rampage. damage, ladies and gentlemen? I, you know, he came out with that odd makeup. I had to know there was something off about Malta. Look and they're having this. to go with someone else. Wait a second, look at Hey, Caveman! Caveman and Nikolai White look like have made some great decisions tonight. And uh, it looks like that uh, El Imperio there has just massively influenced wow. everything good about wow. LAX there. And Malta the Damager. A new year? Walking the dark side there. This is a new day for NAX. I kind of like the I, I like I like the temperature of this day, Wesley. This is a, the most disturbing day that I've been involved in professional wrestling. Whoa! Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Wesley. I'm sorry, your uh, friend uh, Malta, decided to make a great business choice for himself. Uh, Malta the Damager is in the stands, bloody threatening, threatening spectators, ladies and gentlemen. Good. Things Good. have changed it's in about 2021. Time. A it's about the damager, bloody threatening people in the stands with a chair. Well, you would never see that kind of behavior from Malta the Damager. Well, maybe he's had enough of these fans. Even a year ago. This is it's just unbelievable what's happening here. Maybe he's finally had enough of these people. I mean, why why are they booing him after, you know, he's in control right now. If they're really his fans, they should be cheering for him, no? Huh? Wesley, you should be happy for him right now. And la Look, ladies and gentlemen, we are... He's not one of these people laying on the ground right now. He's walking out on his feet. We're and en look at Nick. Ending on a crazy note here. I don't know what to say. Uh, El Imperio. El Imperio is bloody Thank expected. you, caveman. Thank you. This has just been a complete dis disgrace. I'm, I'm happy. Oh, you're disgraced, Wesley? You're not, it, it's been, uh, you're not happy with what you see? Unbelievable what's going on here tonight. It I, looks like, I will say, the Imperio is making a new day for NAX. Ladies and gentlemen, absolutely. Things are changing quite quickly here at NAX. The first show after the pandemic, and we got a whole new paradigm in effect. Absolutely. It, it's been quite a march here. Quite, quite strange. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with what I just saw. I think... Nimrod, sexy, take, taking us out.
Antidote. Texaria there. Nimrod Texaria. I'm impressed. Take this on here. Yeah. Malta finally put a smile on my face. Huh? Move to the damage and now. <laughs> Bob's buddy buddy there with Mr. Charles Wonder. Oh, After what's that, up with uh, your, yeah, how come your friend, you didn't notice uh, uh, a little attitude change in him? Quite a, a turn for the worst there. Hopefully all to the damage and will come to a sentence. In the I think he came to a sentence. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This has been a fantastic event. And uh, here at NAX, we're very proud to thank you, welcome you all back to this uh, first show after the pandemic. And welcome I'm back, nerds. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Richard Ruiz. Richard Ruiz Productions, number one independent wrestling across the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this is NAX.